And now let's go to Wendy Ross for a fresh check on our weather. Well, we were hoping to see a little bit more rain today, but the showers that did fall were very widely scattered, and we saw showers along the west coast earlier this morning, and then across east of I-75, the rain is still falling right now. And as we take a look at our radar, you can see a lot of lightning on the map. Most of those showers are across the central part of the state. They've not been moving very quickly. A close-up look of our viewing area showing us that the rain showers right now, for the most part, very widely scattered. And if you are east of I-75, that's where most of the activity is taking place. Not a whole lot going on along the beaches right now, but we should be continuing to see those showers developing throughout the rest of this evening. We're looking at temperatures that are unbearably hot at this hour, 92 degrees, with those winds coming in out of the west at around 16 miles per hour. Expect to see our temperatures drop as the clouds begin to come on in, and we start to see a few more showers developing around our viewing area. And of course, we'll let you know how the beginning of the work week and the school week looks like. We've got that forecast in just a few minutes, Linda. Well, we'll let you know, too. We were expecting to see a little bit more <laughs> rainfall around. All of us got rain today. Maybe some of you slept through it. I know I was one. And we'll be back in just a minute to let you know what we can expect for the next couple of days as well as a cold front tries to make its way through our viewing area. You're watching ABC7 with forecaster Wendy Ross. This is ABC7 Weather. Well, we can see all of the lightning strikes associated with the thunderstorms that have been moving through across mostly central Florida and east of I-75. We've seen a great deal of rain as well. Most of the showers, though, have been pushed onshore because of the sea breezes that we've had. They're coming in out of the west at around 14 miles per hour. And you can see all of that rain coming in east of I-75 for the most part, with isolated heavier showers taking place all the way from Port Punta Gorda all the way northward up to the eastern section of Manatee County. Ona Lily also seeing some very heavy thunderstorms here. And we are going to continue to see showers developing. We've got plenty of moisture in the upper, upper levels of the atmosphere, and so that's going to help to bring in the showers. Early this morning, and I'm talking about 4 or 5 o'clock, Linda said she slept through it as well. We did see some of these showers coming on shore across portions of Sarasota and Venice. And then during the afternoon hours, the showers have been coming in from the north, and most of that activity continues to sink on down to the south. We're going to start to see more increased cloudiness throughout the evening hours as well, and our chances for rain will continue throughout the nighttime tonight. We're looking at around a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain, and then tomorrow we've got another 60 percent chance of rain in our forecast. And this is all because of a cold front that's trying to make its way across central Florida. This frontal system does not have a lot of impetus or with it. It is going to be slowly sinking to the south. It's expected to move over the southern waters by Wednesday, so that means tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to see our best chances for rain as this frontal system continues to bring us plenty of moisture all the way through the upper levels of the atmosphere, and that's why we're going to see the best chances as that front comes on through. It's not going to cool us off. 91 was is our present temperature, and we got up to a high of 92 today. As you can see, we're looking at winds that came in out of the northwest at around 14 miles per hour. Dew point and humidity levels are also fairly high, and I make a correction right now. It was 93 for our daytime high today. Very, very hot temperatures. 77 was the overnight low, but you can see that back in 1973, it was blisteringly hot with a temperature high of 99, and our overnight low low was 1972. It was 67 degrees. That sounds awfully good right now. And as you can see, all of the areas that are reporting temperatures mostly in the low 80s, that's where they've had most of the rain showers. Jacksonville, Gainesville, and Orlando reporting the coolest temperatures right now. Across the southern sections of our state, still very hot temperatures. And this is also true in Tallahassee and in Pensacola as well. Now, the other thing that has also developed as a result of that frontal system, we have a broad area of low pressure. You can see it right Right here and this is just something that's it's been stationary it isn't doing anything it's non-tropical in nature but it is something that will be watched over the next couple of days and then farther out into the east we are looking 
At this area around the Windward Islands, a tropical wave here has developed. Air Force reconnaissance planes were going to go in and check out the system this afternoon, but nothing happened, so they postponed that. It's just an area that we're going to continue to watch over the next couple of days. And for boaters tomorrow, winds will be out of the northwest at 10 knots, seas 1 to 2 feet with a light chop. That Gulf water temperature is hot at 91. We can expect to see mostly cloudy skies eastward tonight with some isolated showers affecting all of our viewing area and an overnight low of 76 degrees. And as you can see, over the next seven days, we're looking at a 60% chance of rain both Monday and Tuesday with a 50% chance on Wednesday. And we're also going to look at hot temperatures all week with our overnight lows mostly in the mid-70s and only a 40% chance of rain beginning on Thursday as that front no longer has much of an impact on our weather. Well, it's nice to have the rain overnight. So yeah. then it doesn't interfere with anything, and it still cools things and off. And you think your dog woke you up because of the rain? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. probably. So. He probably hadn't experienced rain in a long time. <laughs> That's right.